Okay, let's do a little review and practice of making fact families by using dominoes. So if we look at this first box here, there is a domino at the very top and the page that you are looking at here on the screen should look just like the page that you have on your desk except that I've got some of the other ones started here. We'll, we'll do those together. So let's look at this first example. You see that there's a domino at the top that has two dots on one side and five dots on the other side. And the only thing that's different about what you may have seen before is that the very first line here is asking you for the three members of this fact family. So if these were on a triangle fact card, you would see a two, a five, and a seven, because if you counted up all of the dots together, if you added those together, that would be seven in all. So this first line is for you to write down the three members of this fact family, okay? And then after that first line is when you start to make your two addition and then two subtraction problems. So here we have two plus five equals seven in the turnaround. Five plus two equals seven. And then remembering to start with the largest number, two subtraction problems. Seven minus five equals two and seven minus two equals five. Okay, so there's an example. Now here we have a domino that I've already drawn in. If you look at the side over here, I've selected a domino and you need to draw in the dots to make this domino match the domino that we're using. I've already pulled for you the three members of this fact family, which are three, four, and seven. And together, let's go ahead and create the two addition and the two subtraction problems. And we can go ahead and start with this right in order by adding three plus four. And we know that that makes seven. Go ahead and fill this in along with me. And if you need to at this time, you can pause your video to get caught up. And then we can make a turnaround fact. We'll go ahead and make four plus three equals seven. And again, I would like you to be writing what I'm writing now. Let's go ahead and make our two subtraction problems. And since I'm remembering to start with the biggest number, I'm going to go ahead and put those sevens right up front for both subtraction problems so I can't forget that. I'm going to do seven minus four, that will equal three. And then of course, seven minus three will equal four. Okay. So that's how you're going to work on these domino fact families. Start off by drawing in the dominoes that I have selected for each box and then write the three members of the family and then create your addition and subtraction problems. Again, if you need to pause to finish this up, press pause now and then press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, now here we are at the bottom of the page and there's a domino here with a one and a six. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and draw in the dots on the domino on your page and complete the three fact family members and go ahead and write the two addition and the two subtraction problems. And when you're ready, I want you to press pause and do that work. 
And after you have all of these done, just in this box right here, I want you to press play to continue and then I will reveal the answers for you. Okay, so you should have this one finished. I'll reveal what you should have on your worksheet. You should have filled in a one, a six, and a seven. And then your addition problems should look like this. Of course, you may have written them in a different order, but you should have one plus six and six plus one. And then for subtraction, make sure that you started with your sevens and you should have 7 minus 6 and 7 minus 1 and give that a quick check. Okay, and same thing on the next domino, please. Fill in the 2 and the 3. Go ahead and draw those dots in for the domino I have selected. Press pause on this video. Complete your answers and then plus Press play when you are ready to check your answers. So press pause now, please. Okay, so you should have this complete. Let's go ahead and reveal, check your answers. You should have a two, a three, and a five for the fact of the family members. And then you should have your 2 plus 3, your 3 plus 2, and then you should have your two subtraction problems as well. 5 minus 3 and 5 minus 2. Give that a quick check, please. Okay. On the back side of your domino fact family sheet, there's space for four more fact families. Would you please draw in the dots for this domino now, press pause, and when you're finished, you can press play to check it. Press pause now. Okay, now you should have this completed. Please check your work on this first domino. You should have four plus 6, 6 plus 4, 10 minus 4, and 10 minus 6. If you need to make any changes, you can make those changes right now. Okay, and moving over to the next domino. I would like you to draw these dots on the domino that's on your worksheet, on the blank domino. Go ahead and press pause so that you can complete the rest of the fact family and press play once you're ready to check your answers. So press pause now. Okay, you are ready to check your answers on this domino. So give it a look over. You should have 4 plus 5, which equals 9, 5 plus 4, there's that turnaround fact, you should have 9 minus 4 and 9 minus 5. Did you remember to start your subtraction problems with the largest number? I hope you did. Okay, we've got two more to finish up. You're doing a great job. This is a good review and good practice for you. All right, so for the bottom left corner here, would you draw in the dots to match the domino I've selected for you? Press pause when you are ready to begin. Fill in the rest of these answers. Press play when you're ready to continue and check your work. Press pause now, please. Okay, if you have completed this and you are ready to move on, then let's give it a quick check. Here you should have 5 plus 6, which makes 11. 6 plus 5, there's the turnaround fact. And of course, starting with the 11s, 11 minus 5 and 11 minus 6. 
and you should be good to go. If you need to make any fixes right now, correct anything, please take the time to do that. We're not in a hurry. We'd like to do good quality work. Okay, and for the last one, you have a domino to fill in on your worksheet. Please fill in the dots so it matches this domino I've selected for you. And when you are ready, please press pause, complete all of these blanks, fill in your fact family, and press play when you are ready to check your answer. So go ahead and press pause right now. Okay, so you are finished and ready to check your answers. Let's take a look. Your fact family, starting with the family members of 2, 4, and 6, should look like 2 plus 4 equals 6. Turn that around and you get 4 plus 2 also equals 6. 6 minus 4 equals 2. 6 minus 2 equals 4. So there you have it. You've had some review and some practice of fact families using dominoes. If there's anything that went a little bit too fast for you and you were unable to complete your problems or if you were unable to check them or make corrections that you wanted to make, just go ahead and slide this video back or drag the button back so that you could re-watch the video and get your paper filled out correctly. I would like you to take this Domino Fact Family Sheet and place it in the classwork basket. But before you do that, please make sure that your name and number is on the front there, up at the top where there's a name line. Please make sure that you have your name and number on there. Give your page a quick check on both the front and the back to make sure that it is completed and you can take this paper and put it in the classwork basket please. Okay. After that you are on to your next activity. Thanks for your hard work.